So before I begin with the painting tonight, I have a very exciting announcement to make. I'm very pumped about it. I have set up a Facebook page. I know that's nothing glitz and glam and it's all old news and everything, but um, some of my subscribers or even people just watching my videos that aren't necessarily subscribers will ask me a lot of questions and, and I know that they're sharing their experiences and I love that. I love to hear that they're trying some of the techniques that I'm using, trying out the airbrush or the hair dryer and we don't really have a way to communicate beyond the comment section of YouTube, which you can't include pictures or anything like that. So I set up the Facebook page. I'm going to put the description it, or the link in the description below. Um, it's called Misha Art. And I really want to invite all of you guys who are looking and watching this video, who are trialing things on their own, to share on Facebook. I would love to see what's happening out there and what you guys are producing. So please check it out. So, and the weird thing is I literally have not posted a single thing on there, like nothing. So I'd be very interested to see who posts first. There's your challenge, get out there, post first, show me what you've done. So to get into tonight's painting, um, this was inspired by a painting that I saw in, uh, at my work within the building. It's a different suite, but I was walking by and I saw this painting. I was like, wow, that is so cool. And I totally think I can do it. So I'm going to try it. So tonight we're going to start with a flip cup of white, black, and silver. And then I'm going to add another, like a dirty pour of blues. So what I got over here is I've got a cup of black and it is a mixture of three different blacks that I have. I'm running low, um, so I try to get as much out of all of my containers. So there's Artist Loft, there's Liquitex Basics, and I'm sure there's Master's Touch. Um, so this is the remnants of all of my uh, bottles with just a little bit in it. Um, here I've got white, which is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylics Just White. And then here I've got some silver which is the Folk Art Silver. This one is really thin, so I only added Floetrol to it. There's no water in it. The other ones I added Floetrol and just a little bit of water. So in this cup, I've got Master's Touch uh, Ultramarine. And in this cup, I've got Artist Loft, just light blue. So I'm gonna have probably three cups, and we'll do a flip cup of just the white, silver, and black. And then I'm going to do um, another layering in another cup of the blues and a little bit of black and I'm going to dirty pour that through so I can have some more control out of it. So get some more control out of it, I should say. So let's get started.
Okay, so of course, just like almost every attempt I make, it, when I see something and I'm like, I can do that, I know I can do that, it did not turn out as I had anticipated. Um, so I think I'm trying to figure out where I'm going wrong. So the painting that I, or the print that I had seen had A, a lot more black in the background. So note to self, if I wanna do this again, don't add so much white in. Secondly, the strips of blue um, coming through were, they really went from like blue, light blue into dark blue into black and then back into light blue and then into dark blue. Um, so I think I would need to use like a ketchup bottle, one of the bottle, uh, condiment bottles um, to really lay in that paint the way I would like to. And then I could blend it with the airbrush a little bit more. But definitely learn something. Um, I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate it. It's just not what I was intending to go for. So tons of crazy selling and cool effects over in here. I'd love to see it when um, it's dry. But for now, I'm going to bring you guys in closer for a look. All right. So this is it from my perspective. Let me bring you in. Definitely some really cool marbling happening in here. Look at this webbing right in here. So cool. All right, so overall, pretty cool. Um, it is really quite interesting looking. I really, the more I'm looking at it and especially doing that close up and really looking at the bits and pieces, I really like this a lot more. So, um, so tell me what you guys think about it by commenting below. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button so you can see everything new coming out um, and don't forget about that Facebook page. I'm so excited about it. Please hit me up on there. Share what you guys are doing. I can't wait to interact on, with you guys on there and share um, just thoughts and experiences and uh, learn from each other. So y'all have a great day and I will see you soon.